Good morning, Mr. Lazy. Back, back with something different. I just thought I'd test the waters here to see what people might be interested in, uh, in regards to my small channel. But um, BMGN Drive, or BMG Drive, or whatever the bloody hell this game is, this is one of those games that I have had in my rather admittedly small library for a long time, and I don't know why. I just haven't played much of this game. Um, I mean, I don't know why, because I really do love my simulation games and a physics-based game that you can basically blow shit up with or crash vehicles of any size that you want. Um, really got my interest, hence why I got it. Um, and as much as much as this game calls itself a simulator, it I would err on the side of this game is more ridiculous than realistic. I mean, the fact that I can just turn this bus into, well, almost a piece of metal spaghetti here. It just <laughs> it just doesn't make much sense to me. Um, like, I would have thought, you know, I, what was I doing? I wasn't even paying attention there. What was I doing? 250 miles an hour. Like, this is the Hero Bus. It's one of the standard ones, obviously, if you've played the game before. It's one of the standard ones uh, in the game. And I, I play this bus a lot because it's got fucking rockets attached to it. I mean, how many of these vehicles, how many vehicles in the game even have rockets? We need, we need more of those. Um, now, probably back when I bought it, I hadn't really, re I didn't realise, in all honesty, there was a workshop, or at least, maybe not a Steam workshop exactly, but you could actually download other people's creations and thing and other people's, like, you know, maps and stuff. This map is custom, by the way, uh, as well. It's, one, like, it's, well, it's like an American-style map. I, I don't know where it is, but there's like, there's like all this stuff that I had just not, <laughs> not even realised, and where the f- uh, where am I going? Um, I have been turned into a complete pretzel. And I just hadn't realised that there was all this stuff you could download, and it's kind of brought my interest back to the game uh, once again. Um, there's, there's just, there is just utterly ridiculous things. Like this, this vehicle here. Um, you have to bear with me in case I get these things mixed up. But, okay, who in their right mind? I mean, there's going to be some crazy engineers out there that would design vehicles like this. Maybe this is based on a, someone's creation in real life, but... I mean, I've seen vehicles stripped down to the bare essentials like this before. I think there's even a vehicle in GTA which is very much like this. Uh, I think it's the Rat Rod, I think. Uh, but anyway, like, what? <laughs> you got two fucking engines stuck to a very old vehicle. Like, what in the hell? I mean, all I can say about this vehicle is its acceleration for its age is pretty decent. Um, although this thing actually seems to have a, a theoretical speed limit of about 200. Um, and that's the other thing as well. This is a driving game, and yet there are mods for freaking planes and boats. So what? It's not really dr BM... It's not BMG Drive or whatever it is. It's fucking, you know, I can fly. I can, like, go... I can go on a boat as well and freaking sail somewhere. I don't goddamn know. Um, this is not going to end well, is it, when I hit this wall, is it? But <laughs> I have made... <laughs> <laughs> looks like it looks like it's fucking rolled in on itself. I mean, some people, you know, like compact cars, but this is a compact compact. You know, I'm gonna do that fucking again. That, this 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 vehicle is nuts, um, to say the least. Um, although, I, I suppose how real. I mean, the thing is with realism as well with uh, with a game like this is like, you know, I feel like I, if I if I clip a wall at even a s relatively slow speed, it seems to do a lot of damage to the vehicle. I I mean, I get I don't know real life physics. I've never crashed a car. I I've been driving for three, four years now, however, however long it is. I've never crashed, so I suppose I can't judge um, how much damage or, um, you know, you might you might do if you were travelling a certain speed and then you <laughs> hit something like this. Um, I appear to have lost my engine block and, uh, hey, I can see it's still spinning there, the engine's online, even though, uh, oh, the, en <laughs> the engine's still online, I can rev it. That, that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, um, these vehicles are just insane. Um, I suppose another another topic um, that I want to um, just sort of talk about. I mean, I'm I'm just here to piss around. Um, like I said, testing to see if any uh, what people find interesting with this. Um, although, as you can kind of tell, I probably is as I'm just sifting through all these damn vehicles. I'm trying to find some specific vehicle here. You have to bear with me a second. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Um, uh, one thing I would suggest, I'm just going to like throw out to my admittedly small audience and uh, prepare for speed for this vehicle, by the way. It might not, it might not have rockets, but this thing goes fast. Anyhow, um, but I'm going to throw it out to my sm uh, small audience here, but do any of you know or would recommend? Uh, I would, I'm, I'm, as much as you can c clearly tell, for the entire history of my channel, I've never actually done any kind of real uh, video editing, let's be 
uh, honest here, I, I, I just, I just don't really edit at all. I just press record, and <laughs> shit usually happens. Uh, as much as I can, you know, I, well, actually, I just realised there's some nice texture glitches. There. For the most part, I'm relatively coherent in how I can uh, formulate sentences. I can think on my feet. I can usually th find something to talk about, which is usually a good thing, especially considering I, like I said, don't edit, no scripts, press record, and just shit comes up my mouth, and that stick, and that, and that shit will stick in the video here. Oh god, what have I done? Um, I didn't even get to the goddamn end, and I kind of wrecked. Am I still driving? Uh, not much more. Um, <laughs> I kind of fucked up. When this when this car gets to max speed. Uh, it's hard to control. Although the other thing, uh, going back to what I was saying, um, sometimes I get distracted too easily and my conversations can go on a bit of a ramble. Rambling is my nature. I should get like a... a what if, like, if I can get like some kind of uh, qualification uh, in rambling? But anyway, back to the original question which I never finished. Is, do any of you guys know or would recommend any cheap or um, potentially even free editing software? Because I actually don't know where to go. I used to use, back in the day, if I... <laughs> Oh, there's not much of this car left, is there? I used to use, and this is probably, oh, this is harping back, potentially 10 years, maybe? 10 years? I don't know, maybe not that far back, I don't know. Um, but uh, if we're talking that far back, I did own a copy of Sony Vegas Platinum 10. And even though that would have probably suited me for simple, um, for simple editing, even uh, by today's standards, uh, I've long since lost the disc, and I don't even think um, the program even works very well at all, if if, if at all, uh, on Windows 10, so it's kind of a moot point. So I'm kind of on the lookout for something new, and some people are probably going to say to me, uh, Windows Movie Maker or some shit like that, and uh, I don't want to stoop that low. I don't, I don't even know if Movie Maker still exists, for Christ's sake. Um, that was a thing back in Windows 7 days in Vista. I remember, actually, I remember editing videos on Windows Vista, but that's a story for another day. Um, but, uh, you know, any suggestions for software, and I will certainly look at it. I, I have a very small budget right now. Uh, this winter, has uh, as much as... You know, computers and all, all that stuff is not exactly a seasonal job. Um, for me, it has been incredibly um, quiet this um, this winter, so I've not exactly had much income at all, considering I'm trying to set up my own business here. And, uh, well, he is just flat, and so, you know, money's been drying up, so my budget's kind of limited here. Um, now, where was another? Where were some other vehicles here that I hadn't played around with? Oh, yeah, there were some of those ones. But what was another fun one? Yeah, that that's... Um, Crazy Speed Car was definitely one of my favourites here. I've got a bunch of other other completely... Ra oh, these things. These, like, little turtle with cannon. This, this this mod doesn't work. If I click on it... Well, you'll see what happens in a second. Blur! <laughs> I spawned it and the vehicle just... just It just doesn't work. Bit of a shame. I kind of like that um, that vehicle, to say the least. And, oh, yeah, speaking of planes, there's, like, this, uh, there's a boat there. And that's not a plane, but here's a couple of planes. Got to say, flying planes in this game is incredibly difficult, to be honest. Apart from the... Uh, the smaller propeller one here. That one took a little bit of uh, practice, but I've kind of got that one uh, nailed down there. Uh, in, you know, in terms of flying, it's definitely not too difficult here. So uh, oh, that's the one I've actually just shown off. Yeah, it's this thing, ludicrous speed. Yeah, um, I suppose I could just try this uh, this alternative one here. I think it's basically the same thing. I mean, you know, when it says we break for no one, um, very true here. And uh, as long as I don't uh, lose control here, that's another good point. As much as I am a keyboard and mouse person, I'm very much a true sort of uh, stereotypical uh, member of the PC Master Race, and it's like keyboard and mouse and no consoles in sight. That's basically me, uh, which is very true here, but at the same time, where am I going? Um, <laughs> um, you know, controllers do have a place in PCs, and as much as I can't say I've had too many games where, or hardly any games, I would want a controller with this. This um, BMG Drive is literally the only game I could think of, uh, and I've been playing around with keyboard and mouse for all this time, um, that a controller would be very, very essential and kind of a good thing to uh, to have uh, in this instance, because like, there's no granular control. You know, the, the joysticks... Um, sorry, I'm trying to find another vehicle here. The joysticks are... Um, very much a needed thing, if you know what I mean. Just having that sort of like gradual acceleration, uh, gradual turning, things like that. Because uh, if I scroll down, if I can actually find where it was again, was it these ones? No, that's what I just did. Give me a second. There was one vehicle that I had. There was a bunch of um, modified versions of it, and uh, it was impossible to control for one real. Re oh yeah, here it is. Um, this guy. 
Uh, it was impossible to control this one because I have no granular acceleration. This is a drag vehicle. Um, this one's also quite noisy from what I remember. So if I just floor it, it's just spinning all over the place. And I'm trying to fight the steering, but it just causes me to spin out. Um, this thing is impossible to control um, with, <laughs> with keyboard and mouse, at least in my opinion. So, um, you know, would be nice to have. I mean, would I go and buy a controller just for this one game? Probably not, unless I can find a really, really uh, cheap um, uh, controller there. But anyway, that's about what I'm going to say for all my rambling. I don't want to drag this video on for too long, but as I keep saying, I just want to test the waters and just see if uh, anyone's interested in me maybe just, I don't know, maybe finding, I mean, give me some suggestions for any uh, potential vehicles I should download, actually. Um, or maybe just give me some scenarios for things I could smash into, because bear it in mind, I'm just finding a nice freeway here, um, pressing uh, <laughs> the Jato rockets on this guy. And um, going full speed and smashing things. I, don't, I think the, I think the, the the lunacy of this game. It's just it's like it, this is a realistic game. Yes and no. Um, it definitely has a comedic factor, at least to me. I mean, back when I um, found all these additional uh, workshop mods, I was uh, I was in stitches uh, for a bit because of how just stupid the physics kind of acts in this game sometimes. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna end this video off here with one final smash, probably into that sign there, and just. <laughs> <laughs> Turn myself into a rather large pretzel. I don't know about you. If a vehicle was travelling that fast and hit some, uh, apparently some imperviously solid road dividers, because, like, road dividers, like, how are you so solid? Concrete wall. Okay, concrete wall is probably a bit more solid than that. Or even, okay, a sign. How does that sign not break? Is everything solid in this game? <clears throat> yes, apparently so. But a vehicle hitting uh, hitting that dumpster, uh, if I was to speak in American for a second there, um, at least I think it's a dumpster, it looks like one to me, um, at least that's what Americans call them. Anyway, uh, if I hit one of those at l high speed, assuming these objects were solid like they are, well, why didn't this thing literally tear itself apart? That's another thing. They're missing another element to this game in the sense that objects, while have, well, they have some degree of, um, you know, physics, you know, obviously it's a lot of physics, uh, you would... <laughs> Why don't they break apart? Like, completely. Wheels can fall off, doors can fall off, uh, windshields can fall off, you know. There's quite a lot of things that can fall off, but the fundamental structure of the vehicle, especially the chassis and a lot of the um, primary bodywork um, that comprises the vehicle, does not break. And it doesn't make much sense to me, but, uh, you know what, just for, I'm just going to give one final hurrah before I... Uh, uh, shut up here because, you know, I can ramble on for hours and hours because, you know, I... <sighs> I'm just speaking to my computer. Basically, I just I just so happen to be uploading this, but technically, at this uh, as I'm playing this game, I am speaking to my computer, which um, kind of shows you how sad my existence is. You know, whoa, I okay, I kind of deliberately went off course there, but um, yes, I found the moon map as well. The moon the moon map was uh, kind of ridiculous. Hey, is that my engine? Is that my engine? I think that's my engine. I can't do anything. I think the vehicle's long since <laughs> out of service. So anyway, yes, I am going to uh, shut up now. So like I said, let me know anything of, uh, of this idea of maybe doing some more of this particular game down below in the comments. Any of those, any of those, any suggestions to the questions I've already spouted on in the video? Uh, any answers to those? Put them in the description as uh, description. Put them in the comments as well if you've got anything to add to those. Uh, Link to my Discord is in the description as always. Andrew, the draw by now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.